I love that it was so welcome to your strawberry full moon pick a card angel guidance for those of you who don't know me my name is Maria and I receive you with so much love and light in my heart I'm here to help you grow expand your consciousness return to yourself return to your heart return to love heal transform and expand become someone better become the real you with the help of the angels with the help of reiki and today we're going to connect with the angels because we have a full moon a very special one today it's called strawberry full moon today is june 5th 2020 and coming with this full moon we have also a lunar penumbra eclipse so there's a lot of energy to be released the eclipse brings us back to the past to bring the light to our darkness to the things in the past that we are avoiding to look at and the full moon as always is a time is a moment to let things go to become full to come to an end of a cycle a completion of a cycle to become the real you to really expand to return to light so let's check what the angels have for us i'm gonna get the cards now and I will get three cards and you got you got, yeah, I got the three cards here already. Four cards. I knew it. They did this last week. They're doing this again. We have four cards for you guys to pick one and and then let's see uh, what you need to be working on during this full moon energy, this lunar eclipse. What do you need to release and what do you need to let go of? So there you go. So take a deep breath in now, connect with your heart just surrender to the universe whatever it is that you're holding on to whatever it is that you need to shine the light over in order for you to see to work on and to transcend right now trust your intuition the first number that pops in your mind is the one you need to pick today so don't doubt yourself let's do this i have number one here number one number two number three and number four I'm going to give you a few seconds for you to connect with your heart, for you to listen, for you to choose your card. It's not two cards. It's not three cards. It's not all of them. It's one of them. One of them will hold the right message for you right now. Now, as I always say, there is a reason why you're listening to all the messages. There is a reason why you're called to this video. It is because, of course, all the messages here are for you. There is something in each one of these cards that you too need to listen. The card you're picking today is the, the focus, is where you need to be really looking at. So I hope you're ready. One, two, three, four. Let's check what message the angels have for us. Whoever chose, interesting, whoever chose number one, we have the physical health okay so the angels are telling you that right now it's time to stop ignoring your body it's time to stop ignoring your health it's time to shine the light over yourself and start to be aware of uh, aware of your health how important it is to connect with your body to nourish your body to be healthy you need to start shifting your diet. You need to start eating healthier food, healthier habits to be healthy, to exercise, to really take care of yourself, to really connect with your body and understand that you are not only spiritual, you're not only energy, you are also a human being, a physical body. You are a whole thing and you need to understand that. So it's time to really pay attention to what you have been doing to yourself, to your body. What kind of substances are you placing within you that are in a very low vibration? And it's time to make a choice. It's time to choose you, to let that go and to start being healthy, to being to be more mindful, to be more careful about you because you matter. When we start to do negative things to ourselves with addictions, for example, we are actually 
holding so much blame and so much fear and so much anxiety in us that we start to neglect ourselves. When we do this, when we are addicted to substances that are very harmful, we're neglecting ourselves. We're punishing ourselves for something. And that's what the angels want you to look at. What is it in you that you're holding on to? That you have the need to damage your own body in a very unconscious way, but you do it and you know it. So they're asking you today, embrace who you are and embrace your body, love your body, give yourself a treat, be more kind to you, take very good care of your health right now in order for you to expand, in order for you to grow, to become the real beautiful being of life that you are. Okay, number one, I love this. So, number two, number two, interesting, number two, if you picked number two, I have faith for you, talking about hope, trust, spirituality, and what are the angels telling you? This is a moment for you to, um, to believe, to believe in yourself, to believe in the universe. This is where they're, they're shining the light over today, to your faith. But what they're saying now, it's not only about having faith in the universe, not only about saying, oh, I trust the universe, I trust the angels. How much do you trust yourself, actually? How much faith do you have in you, in your own capabilities? Because as the angel said before, there is no such thing as trusting the universe and not trusting you, because the universe lives within you. So it's not about words. It's not about saying that you trust. It's about truly trusting, truly surrendering, believing in you, in who you are. And this is where it's lacking now. Number two is you need to have faith in life, in people, especially in yourself. Shine the light over this. Whatever happened to you in the past that made you doubt in any way, Maybe you doubt yourself, maybe you doubt how strong you are, how possible it is for you to change your life, for example, to heal, to let go of what's no longer serving you. Whatever happened in the past, don't hold on to that. Don't believe in it. Have faith. Trust yourself. Believe that you, you are the only one who can change this. That's what this full moon is bringing you into awareness, into your awareness, bringing into the light. How much truly, really you are believing, how much faith do you truly have? Again, they're repeating this. It's not about words. It's not about saying that you trust. It's not about saying that you believe. It's about truly feeling and truly surrendering. It goes so much more than words. It's about what, what you hold within you. So it's time to work on that. It's time to really, to really do what needs to be done when it comes to letting go, when it comes to surrendering. Okay, number two, I love this. Now let's get to number three. Number three, oh, that's also interesting. Number three, you have personal boundaries. Very interesting. So it's about choice, empowerment, authenticity. Number threes. If you picked number three, this means that you're feeling quite um, weak. This means that you're not managing to take action. You're not managing to speak up. You're not managing to really take the next step. You know what to do. You want it, but you just don't. You keep listening and listening to people. You don't have boundaries. You do everything for others and you completely forget to do everything for you. This is what they're asking you. This is where they're shining the light over today with a full moon. You have to look at yourself. To have your own boundaries. To be assertive when it's needed. To gain back your inner power. Don't feel weak because you're so strong. You're such a strong being. You need to see that. You need to really connect with yourself in order for you to understand how powerful you actually are. 
Don't believe in others. They are saying this now. Don't believe in what people say about you. Don't believe in what people say about your dreams. They are not you. They are not your dreams. You are. You hold it all within you. And you hold everything. It's in your hands. It's in your hands. To take the next step. To do what needs to be done. To feel stronger. To really listen to yourself. What's happening here is that you're not listening to you. You're ignoring yourself. You're giving more attention to what people say. You're giving more attention to everything around you instead of you. You're not the priority. And that's what they're saying now. Shine the light over yourself. You need to be the priority. You need to be the main focus right now. Be assertive and... Stand up for who you are. Stand up for what you believe. Stand up for what you want. Follow that inner instinct, that inner desire. You're the only one who can manifest this. So let go. Let go of all this needs of having people telling you what you are and what you need to do when you already know that you are so much more. And they want you to see that. They really want you to let go of all those feelings and all those thoughts that put you down. You know, all those judgments about yourself that make you feel so much less than you actually are because you're so strong and powerful and beautiful and abundant and expansive. You need to see and understand that. So create your own boundaries. Learn when to say no and when to say yes to people and to yourself. But don't forget that you need to be the main focus in your life right now. Okay, number three. So I love this. Let's get to number four now. So I love this. We have honesty. Number four. Talking about truth, sincerity, transparency, communication. Number four. four <laughs> throat chakra. You need to communicate. You need to speak up. You need to really listen to your feelings and talk about them. This is what this full moon light is shining over. It's about how authentic you are. It's time to let go of all these masks, of all this, these roles that you're playing, that you know you're, it's not you. And you keep pretending it's fine. You keep pretending it's okay. And you keep pretending that your life is okay when you know within yourself that there is so much you're holding on to. Why? Why are you doing this to yourself? This is what they're saying. It's no one's fault what you are doing to you. So it's time to communicate, it's time to speak up, it's time to be authentic, to honor your truth, to honor your feelings, to even, they're saying now, to even defend yourself. You cannot allow people to tell you off when you know you're right. You have to come from the heart and talk about it and really express exactly how you feel. People, they're not here to guess what you're feeling. They're not here to guess if what they're doing is right or is hurting you. They will do whatever they are, they, whatever they can in their level of consciousness. But if you are here right now listening to an angel guidance, it means you have a little bit more of awareness at least. So use that in your favor and be mindful about you. Talk about your feelings. It's time to heal your communication. Don't be, you know, sometimes talking without thinking and sometimes holding on to so much. You need to find that balance in how you speak because this is what they're saying. Communication is two things to consider. To consider. Listening with the heart. Speaking with the heart. So it's time to be true to yourself. It's time to honor who you are, honor your feelings, and really embrace your truth without pretending anymore. It's time to let that go. Shine the light over that and become the real you. Okay, number four. Is... Anyways, beautiful souls, I hope you have enjoyed uh, today's guidance uh i usually do this live but this week i i couldn't i wasn't i wasn't uh it wasn't easy for me to do because of all my work 
but I'm here recording anyways, and I hope you have enjoyed. Please let me know in the comments which card you have picked and how did you like it, if, if it resonated with you. If you're new to my channel, please remember to subscribe and to click on the bell right next to it so you'll be notified with new videos. Okay, and take good care of yourselves, beautiful soul. There's so much changing right now in the universe and in our planet. Uh, for us individually as well so embrace the changes embrace the new and go for what truly resonates with you and what truly connects you with your heart and with your soul okay take good care of yourselves have a wonderful weekend have a wonderful full moon today uh, and i'll talk to you next week once again with more angel guidance and more reiki healings thank you for joining me and namaste